It's a new day in the gorge. We've gone from gridlock to wide open at the west end of the snow zone. The pavement around Cascade Locks was much better this morning than it was before. ODOT trucks are rolling out to try and keep it that way. The Transportation Department has more equipment stationed in the gorge. Some of what they used to clear yesterday's mess is going to stick around for a while. Betty Casey is giving PJ a little fresh air. They pulled into Cascade Locks from the Dalles. They waited out the closure there. I saw snow plow a little bit ago, but I didn't see anybody from the Dalles down sanding. Her snow prep suggestion? A little more salt. A little more, what do you think? I mean, uh, yeah. Ahead of time, mm hmm yeah, yeah, make things a little safer. We did see crews working. An extra grader came from Portland yesterday. This may be it, pushing snow off the shoulder. The guy driving this truck got a good night's sleep in Cascade Locks. Nicholas still got stuck in the gridlock for 17 hours. Now that he can take his chains off, he told us he wishes ODOT had shut down the interstate sooner. But he also says too many truckers were breaking the law. Some of these guys didn't even have chains. So, you know, they, they, they're not used to driving in weather like this. They weren't prepared and, and they were writing some tickets. But I mean, that the guy right next to me wasn't chained up. He wasn't chained up the whole time. Nick's on his way back to Seattle with an idea. Yeah, I might get a little trucker hat that says I survived I-84. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could probably sell a few of those to his trucker friends for sure. You know, out the front here, you see we got the snow and as Rod mentioned, a changeable weather. We've seen some icy precipitation as well. So stay away if you can. That's what ODOT's saying. Stay out of the gorge if you don't need to come drive here. If you do need to drive here, be prepared. And that includes having chains and knowing how to use them and when to use them. Brenda, back to you. All right, be safe. Thank you, Tim.